As Romney celebrated, so did runner-up Ron Paul. The Texas congressman told New Hampshire supporters his campaign is building momentum after third-place finish in the Iowa caucuses. Congressman Paul is in Concord, New Hampshire. Good morning, Congressman Paul. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to be with you. Uh, you just heard Governor Romney say, say that uh, they look forward to meeting you in South Carolina. Some out of the Romney camp say that you're not electable and they're happy you're in second place. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I've been electable. I've won 12 elections already and we're doing quite well now. Uh, it's amazing that I do so much better than those other candidates that they're all electable. They're all in fourth, fifth, and sixth place, but they're all electable. But I come in second or third and all of a sudden people say, oh, he's not electable. I don't know how that adds up. Uh, and the big issue is whether conservatives will be able to coalesce around one candidate. Uh, but they also say time is running out. For whom? <laughs> for conservatives. For people who are want to oh, deny well, the I nomination think, I think there's to a real problem. Governor Romney. Yeah. Well, I think, there's a, yeah, I think there's a real problem, and that's why the American people are so upset, and that's why the Republicans are upset, too, is because I think there's a lot of confusion on how you define conservative. I define conservatives for less government, less spending, and balanced budgets. But so on, for in, in recent history, the Republican Party has drifted over to saying conservative means you cut spending and maybe interference in the market, but if you have big government interfering in personal lives, or if you have big government spending trillions of dollars overseas and running up a national debt by four trillion dollars over the past 10 years, that the more money you spend overseas, the more conservative you are. That, that doesn't even add up. It doesn't make sense. So I think what's happening is American people are waking up. It's not just conservative Republicans. It's yeah. the independents where I do so yeah. well, and I got a lot of Democratic vote, too. But so you know what they're know saying. this but, debt is a problem. But Congressman Paul, you know what they're saying, that as conservatives continue to fail to coalesce, they are simply making it easier for Governor Romney to get the nomination. Yeah, but what if you coalesce with big spending and you elect somebody like that and you do the big spending? This is what we've done. Uh, when we've had the House and the Senate and the presidency, we coalesced and we increased the debt and we increased the spending. We doubled the size of the Department of Education. Uh, we passed No Child Left Behind. We passed Sarbanes Oxley. Why should we coalesce behind conservatives who aren't conservatives? They're just big government conservatives. That's why there's frustration out there, and that's why people have started the Tea Party movement. So I don't know why people don't understand this. Well, looking at, looking at Congressman and how, how fractured it may appear to some people, can there be any sort of a, a, a coalition among uh, for a Republican candidate? Let's let's leave the the conservative issue outside of it. Can the Republican Party come together on one message? Well, obviously, obviously, and that's what we're doing. Uh, we're bringing people together with a freedom message. Freedom brings people together. It's not divisive because it's based on, on tolerance and acceptance. It's also based on conservative principles of, of balanced budgets. So you bring people together, and I, I love the fact that you use the word coalition because most people phrase that question by saying, oh, how are you going to compromise with big spenders so you can gather people in? So your question was a perfect question and framed correctly. You want to build coalitions because different people want limited government for different reasons. But if you want limited government economics but not on personal liberties, you lose out on it. And if we don't address the empire and the spending overseas and the occupation, today it was announced Obama's in, uh, in getting troops involved in another country in Africa. I mean, and, and Congress yes. says nothing. This is what the people are disgusted with, going to war without the people's permission through the Congress. Yes. And I think Thank they're you. pretty darn annoyed. Thank you, you very too. much, Congressman Paul. Look forward to seeing you as well on the, on the, on the uh, campaign trail. Thank you very much.